Alright, Jason Clark here with Steve Webb, Hook Horns and Spurs Outdoors. And this is our first hunt that we're doing to give back to vets, LEOs, and first responders. Uh, our guest this time is going to be Billy Schultz. Steve can tell you a little bit more about Billy here in a minute, kind of his background. Steve actually spent some time working with Billy in the past when he served in the Army as well. We're here at Boggy Creek Outfitters and going to try to try to help Billy get him a pig down this afternoon. Got some weather moving in, so kind of had to change some plans, get here a little bit earlier than anticipated, but hopefully everything will work out. And uh, Steve can tell you a little bit about Billy. Right, so, uh, so Billy Schultz, uh, he spent uh, almost three decades in the Army. He, uh, he's a retired Chief Warrant Officer IV. Uh, he did the same thing I did in the Army. Uh, he was a Field Artillery Warrant Officer. Uh, so Billy and I worked together. Uh, we were both stationed in Hawaii in the 25th Infantry Division. Uh, he was actually the, the senior targeting officer for the division. So indirectly, he was my, my supervisor. Uh, great dude, uh, definitely deserving. He also was one of the largest contributors uh, to the recent uh, AR-15 giveaway that we did. Uh, so uh, besides that, you know, he's deserving. Even if he didn't buy a single ticket, uh, he would still be one of the guys that we would look for to bring on this hunt. Good deal. Yeah, you know, I kind of talked to Steve about Billy, and from the nominations, I would say Billy was probably one of the if not the best nomination we have for this hunt. We're actually sitting here right now. We, me and Steve just got here. We're waiting for Billy to get here. Once Billy gets here, we're going to head in here and, uh, like I said, try to get a pig on the ground, get it skinned out, and then we're going to try to head back home tonight. We was really planning on staying and beat the storm. But it's going to be a good time anyway, and there's uh, this is just one of many of these hunts to come. Um, potentially looking at later on in the year, doing a fishing trip, and then... Uh, deep sea fishing trip. Deep sea fishing trip, yeah. Then going to look at some other options, maybe for deer season. Uh, it's just got to get the money raised to be able to do so. And speaking of that, we've actually made some limited edition shirts for this hunt. Uh, any of these hunts we do anymore that has um, any military members, first responders, LEOs, we're going to do a, what we call a limited edition shirt. Uh, we will be giving these shirts to these guys, and Steve and myself will both be wearing one. But these will be for sale for a limited time, and this is how one of the ways we get money for these hunts. So, uh, Steve, go ahead and uh, stand up, show them the shirt. Y'all's won't fit like this because I'm kind of jacked, but, you know. So, big change with these shirts here. Uh, those of y'all that's kind of watched some of the videos in the past, last year for turkey season, I didn't realize it until uh, Steve pointed it out, but one of the things I do almost after every kill is I say booyah, baby. I don't know where it come from, don't, don't know how it started, but it just, it just happens. So now that is included on the shirts. So it's just something I guess you could say to give us a little more uniqueness, if that's a word. Um, so yeah, it's one way to be raising money for future hunts. And we, uh, we got hats for sale. Steve isn't wearing his. Um, I'm not complaining about that. That's, I'm supporting TSC. Good, maybe TSC will get on board and help us out then. But yeah, we'll be back with y'all here shortly once Billy gets here. Uh, we'll kind of let him introduce himself, and then we'll uh, we'll head to the blind and try to make something happen this afternoon. Y'all take it easy. Billy finally got here. We're heading in to try to get a pig down here at Boggy Creek Outfitters. Well, there's tracks out here. Yeah. Definitely a lot of tracks on the ground. Pretty nice course can ram over there. Yeah, Yeah, that's a pretty good for us. And a donkey. Got Steve carrying in our corn. Maybe I want to... I'll, I'll take it back. I'll, I'll take back the pig. <laughs> I ain't scared. My kids need to learn how to process. Yeah, I love it. He's got a nice... I mean... Alright, well they're going to change the plans. Now Steve is going to see the pig too. Both set up here. Wait for some pigs. Ease on down in here. Saw a couple heading in. Got some corn. Hoping they eat on in here. We got a shot. Got some pigs just stepped out. That's a big pig. Go 
little too far right now. I'm trying to get him closer. Mostly can we start moving around in the bush here? I'll get these on out here so we can get him to get a shot. Got some more hogs moving around out here. Trying to wait, wait for him to get a little bit closer. Get some more out there so we can try to get two at once. The wind ain't really in our favor right now. Kind of blowing straight through them. But, uh, hardly for long. Ain't changed, got some corn out, so they gotta get hungry eventually. Who shot that one in a row? Yeah. No, that was me. Oh, was it? We both got one. Yep. Got two down. Got two. Bye. Woo! We got two left. All right. I was told the cameraman's cleaned them. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Well. Hooks, horns, and spurs outdoors. First vet hunt is in the books. That's what it's all about. Got two hogs now. Jensen, thank you for taking us, brother. Hey, man. You're welcome, bro. Thank you for all you've done for our country. Oh, you shit. too, Steve. Congratulations. I see that one of like this big. Y'all kill two good, size, good eating size pigs. Down right there. There's the other one. Sorry for the sake of camera. I'm walking around and being on that same time. Yeah, baby. Two vets going to claim their prizes. Made some good shots on them. There's Steve and Dog. Get down there with your pig, Steve. Wait on him to die. He's dead. That's just reflexes. Billy over there making sure his is down. Steve, what do you think about the old pig hunting? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, pretty easy. Well, yeah. 
Other than the shooting part. In the, in the right spot. Yeah. Nice old gonna make some good eating. Get out of here and get them skin out of here. Yeah, we're on we're on a time time crunch right now. Well, I'm so glad to get it done here at Boggy Creek Outfitters. We were too. Much appreciated. Well, like before, thank you, Billy, for all that you've done. Oh, shoot, man. It's my pleasure. Well, on the way home, Hooks, Horns, and Spurs' first annual hunt that we put on for the vets, LEO's first responders is in the books. Steve and Billy, I'm sorry the camera's bouncing. We're driving down this dirt road and, uh, Trying to hold it steady as he can. Steve and Billy both laid a smack down on some pigs. Both of them sow, so Billy's gonna have some good eating. And now we are officially trying to get home before the rain sets in and uh, talk to some pretty large hail following with it. One reason we didn't stay tonight. So hopefully y'all enjoy the footage here and uh, we'll be bringing y'all some more footage hopefully here pretty soon once turkey season gets kicked off. Jansen Clark here with Mr. Steve Webb, Hooks, Horns, and Spurs Outdoors. Y'all have a good one.